They captured images of traffic on the moon, but not from human ships, according to claims. As NASA prepares for a man's first mission to Mars, why has NASA not set foot on the moon since 1972, let alone build a moon base? Astronauts and many researchers have claimed that this is because bases already exist on the lunar surface, and in fact they are not human based, uh, non, they are non-human bases. For NASA's Communication Systems Chief Maurice Chatelain confirmed in 1979 that Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin had seen two UFOs on the rim of a crater during the Apollo 11 lunar mission in the summer of 1969. The encounter was common knowledge at NASA, Chatelain said, but no one has talked about it in, until now. Well, actually, Bill Tompkins did, and I have a few videos back, and you can see that video. Um, now, from uh, the encounter was common knowledge by uh, knowledge to NASA. Chatelaine says, according to Armstrong, the aliens would have warned them to stay away from the moon. Former NASA employee Otto Binder said, an unidentified radio receiver intercepted NASA broadcast channels and captured the following exchange. NASA, what's up? Mission Control called Apollo 11. Apollo, these babies are huge, sir, huge. Oh my God, you won't believe it. I'm saying there are other spaceships out there lined up on the other side of the crater rim. They are on the moon watching us. During the journey of Apollo, 11, uh, Apollo 17, NASA's last mission to the moon in 1972, only CBS was covering the live broadcast as the rover traversed the lunar surface. NASA operators on Earth began detecting and directing the television camera mounted on the mobile vehicle to obtain a panoramic view of the lunar surface. There was a four second delay between the movements of the TV camera and the controls operated from the Earth due to the distance between Earth and the Moon. As the camera scanned the landscape, it suddenly captured what looked like a huge rectangular building in the distance. CBS host Walter Cronkite was stunned and exclaimed, it looks like a man-made object, quote unquote. Almost immediately, the live broadcast, along with Cronkite's, was cut off and replaced by an earlier recording labeled, recorded earlier today. 20 minutes later, Walter returned to the air and bewildered, he told viewers that the so-called man-made object was just part of the moon rover. However, the video was never aired again, nor was the incident mentioned again on television, nor in any document known to the public until now. It seems that one of NASA's responsibilities to control what information the public can and cannot see, former NASA employee Donna Hare explained that she and her colleagues were responsible for airbrushing evidence of alien activity in our skies and on the lunar surface. Donna asked her colleague one day, what are you going to do with this information? We have to airbrush this. People who told me it was a cover-up said, never say I said it or else I say I didn't. However, it appears that images of so-called alien activity, quote unquote, on the moon have leaked anyway. On October 1st, 2010, China launched its Chang'e 2 moon into orbit. They widely disputed claims said that the orbiter's cameras captured what appears to be a facility on the lunar surface. It was later said that the photos were taken, not taken by Chang'e 2, but were from NASA's own archives, although this could not be confirmed as the photo lacked the registration number. Could the Chinese government have intentionally, possibly subversively, leaked a NASA photo before they had a chance to control it? In fact, much of this evidence is corroborated by the claims of numerous high-level officials, such as a former U.S. Air Force employee named Carl Wolf, who came to possess a top-secret cryptological security clearance. He revealed that an NSA employee told him, we have discovered a base on the back of the moon, Wolf added, and then he took out one of these maps and showed this base which had geometric shapes. There were towers, there were spherical buildings, they are huge. Some of the structures are half a kilometer long. They are huge structures, he commented. And in another image, there are more of what appear to be giant structures that were obtained during the Apollo 16 mission. But what do you think? Do these things that we are straight, uh, happen that we are strangers on the moon? Do these things happen and we are the strangers going to the moon? And this is by Collective Spark. 
Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. Finally, support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.